if doctors can't treat LP little a, then why are we telling women to get a check? I'm Dr. Simeon Lee, a cardiologist focused on women's heart health. I get this question all the time. Why test for something that we can't treat yet? Here's why LP little a still matters and what we can actually do about it. Let's start with the basics. What is LP little a? It's a type of cholesterol particle similar to LDL, the bad kind of cholesterol that promotes plaque buildup and inflammation in your arteries. But unlike regular LDL, LP little a is almost entirely genetic. Exercise, diet, don't change it at all. And right now, we really don't have a medication that directly lowers it either. So why test for it then? Because knowing your LP little a gives us a clear picture of your lifelong heart risk. The American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association now recommend that every adult check it at least once in their lifetime. And for women, this test is especially important. That's because LP little a levels can rise during menopause, even when the rest of your cholesterol might look normal. A high LP little a can flag risk for cardiovascular disease like heart attacks and strokes earlier before it's too late. But it's not part of the standard cholesterol panel, which means unless you ask, it's often missed. If your LP little a is elevated, that's our signal to double down on the things that we know we can control. Lowering your LDL below 70, keeping blood pressure steady, managing blood sugar, and focusing on a healthy lifestyle. You can't change your genes, but you can change your risk. If you've been told that your LP little a is high, and you're not sure what it means. You don't have to figure it out alone. At Sicily, we help women make sense of their labs and build a plan to stay protected. So feel free to book a free consult with my team using the link in my bio and otherwise follow along to keep learning more about heart health.